back to the Stretching Samurai. My name is Patrick Ravel. Today we're talking lateral raises because a lot of people tell me I've been doing a lot of recovery. I had an impingement. I want to do some side lateral raises with dumbbells, but they still injure me. Okay? Well, what I would recommend before is you do some upright rolls like I've shown in one of my videos, the safe way right up to here on the scapular plane of motion. Now the next step, if you do want to try some lateral raises, and it does hurt when you do dumbbells, I would go with a lower cable lateral raise. And I'll show you why. It's amazing as you go up, the scapular will go down getting some of that lower trap and rhomboid action, and this is great. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to just grab that cable. We're going to start the cable, the hand right above the left hip. So there's maybe a little bit of a rotation on the upper body going down there. And we're going to breathe in and we're going to rotate but to finish in a frontal plane straight. We're not rotating overly. We're staying in a frontal plane. So we're going to breathe in and raise here. Well, guys, a lot of people tell me this is all great, but the problem is, is that although I'm doing your lower cable modified version of a lateral raise, I'm still in pain. My neck still gets stiff. My upper trap still overactivate. Well, guys, you're going to need to bring it down a little bit and do two exercises to fix that correction before you can go for that lower cable lateral raise. I want you to do the supraspinatus, which is one of the rotator cuffs right under the upper trap, which does abduction of the arm. So I want you to grab maybe a little two pounds, three pounds, and what you're going to do is breathe in, open can, thumb pointing up, breathe in, and breathe out. And you're going to strengthen that supraspinatus so you can follow up with that lower cable. Another thing I would advise you to do is maybe to do an external range of motion with a cable or with a band, or even better yet, go on your side. Do your uh, external rotation with a dumbbell on the side on the ground, just going up with the glenohumeral joint right in the socket. It's even better and more effective, guys. So thanks for watching this little chronicle. I'll see you next time. This is the Stretching Samurai, signing out. Ciao.